In order to sniff GSM signals, we will need to use our RTL SDR or real Tech software defined radio. So we have a USB extender cable, we have the antenna, we have the base of the antenna, and the RTL SDR. So we will just connect the antenna, connect the USB extender cable, so we have a bit more room when it's plugged into our computer. And then we will fully extend the antenna, and then we will shorten the size a bit, because that gives us optimal perception for GSM signals around this length. And connect it to the base. And now we're ready to play with our GSM sniffing RTL SDR. We also need to use a phone and the USB cable that came with it. In this case, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S6 latest firmware, but you may be able to use other versions or models of Samsung. Just connect to the phone, and the other end will go on into our computer, and that will be connected to our Kali Linux virtual machine. We also need to enforce 2G mode on our phone, and we will just turn it on. And then we will click network mode under mobile networks and select 2G only. That will force our phone to only use 2G, which we can then try and sniff. In this still frame, you can see it more clearly how your configuration should look like. Next, we'll have to enable service mode on our phone to find out which GSM downlink channel we're using to receive data from. We will just type in the code and hit hash mark and select stack one. At this screen, we can see the country code, the global provider, the channel that we're listening on to receive data, and the cell tower IDs, which can be used to locate the approximate location of the cell tower. Now I'm calling myself, and you can see that frequency hopping was briefly on. From this screen, we generally or only really need to know if frequency hopping is on when we receive a call, and the ARFCN, which in this case is 82 or 98. When we are talking to the USB modem in our phone in the future, we may have, have to enable USB debugging. You can do that by going to About Device, and then you will click Software Info, and then you will click Build Number seven times. I've already done it, so I already have Developer Mode enabled. Once it is enabled, a new menu will pop up, but otherwise it will be located here. In this menu, you can find USB debugging, which may be useful in the future. Last but not least, in the future, you may also need to enable tethering to speak with the USB modem, which you can do here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe.